Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we pay a visit to one of the most efficient straw handling companies in Germany. We take a look at their baling operations with the powerful Kroner Big Pack HDP2, while also reporting on the test of a new mobile firefighting system. It all takes place at Verschur Handel and Logistik GmbH in Saxony-Anhalt. The company, which was founded in the Netherlands back in 1936, has been operating in Germany since 1993 and is best known for its straw trading activities. Verschur offers the whole package, from baling and transportation through to marketing, including supplying a special substrate for mushroom growing. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. As soon as the first combines have cleared the fields southwest of Magdeburg, the pressure is on for the team at Verschur. With a fleet of seven Kroner Big Pack HDP2s, they are one of the most powerful square baling teams in Germany. All the drivers, regardless of whether they drive a tractor, lorry or loader, carry out vehicle maintenance in the morning. For the Big Packs, this usually means blowing out the baler units carrying out small service and maintenance jobs, and of course, replenishing the twine. The lowerable twine compartments have space for 66 spools. That's usually just about enough to last one long workday. Before he sets off on his next job, driver Jaco takes a detour across the machinery shed. This so-called Löschtein is being mounted on a tractor's front linkage. It's a mobile extinguisher that can be used to extinguish any fires that emerge. Michael Recker specializes in firefighting equipment for the agricultural industry and invented the Löschteiner. We'll take a look at how the equipment actually works during a drill later in the video. Each year, Verschur bales between 60,000 and 80,000 square bales. When you're dealing with so much straw, even the best possible fire prevention methods can't always prevent fires. However, by carrying out fire drills with nearby fire stations and training their team members well, they try to limit the risks as best they can. Weather permitting, the big packs head out before midday. They work with two tractor and baler combinations per team to get the job done speedily and enable the transport team to take over straight away. Vashur gathers straw from a total area of 6,000 to 8,000 hectares within a 50 kilometer radius of the business's premises in Oschersleben. Covering as many hectares as possible with the least amount of turnover is possibly the best way to describe deployment manager Sebastian's strategy. He's been in the business since 2018, and during the straw harvest, part of his role is to create the computerized jobs that are then sent to the driver's tablets. Krona's flagship machine, the HDP2, presses incredible amounts of straw into shape in just fractions of a second. A new 500 kilo bale slides onto the stubble around every 23 seconds. If everything runs smoothly, each baler can produce 1,000 square bales per day. Tough job for the class Zerian. Both of these system tractors are used to push maize in the autumn. That's another of the Shores business areas, alongside slurry spreading and straw baling. The company employs 38 people across all its departments. They are happy to hear from anyone interested in working for them.
In addition to the Zerians, the Shaw uses a selection of other tractors from New Holland and Massey Ferguson. We're told they tend to plan a little more conservatively in terms of horsepower when it comes to their pulling tractors. Around 300 horsepower is enough to pull the big pack on level ground. Depending on the size of the row, the large balers are pulled at up to 20 kilometers an hour. If, for example, a pickup time were to hit a stone at this speed, it would do so with such force that it could easily create sparks. This has the potential to cause a fire, which would quickly spread out of control in such dry surroundings. There are various mobile extinguishers available on the market. One advantage of the Löschtainer by Recker is the robust body containing the equipment. We obviously can't show you a fire being extinguished here in the field, so we've set up a demonstration in Vashur's yard instead. When drivers realize there's a fire, they only have a few seconds to decide what they need to do. The 300 bar pressurized gas bottle is ready to use immediately and can project the extinguishing foam up to a distance of 19 meters. The hose is 20 meters long, allowing the operator to fight any fires that occur within the vicinity of the machine. The bottle can hold a 50 liter reserve of extinguishing agent, which equates to 750 liters of dry foam. When released in batches, that's enough to fight a fire for approximately two and a half minutes. The resulting carpet of foam prevents the fire from relighting. The extinguishing equipment inside the Löschtainer box, which weighs around 500 kilos, is made by the well-known manufacturer Bavaria. Now let's head back to the field. Each baling team includes either one or two loaders. The bale grab is used to quickly pick up six square bales at a time and carry them to the edge of the field. This enables the stubble fields to be cleared, usually within the same day. Even the stacks along the field margins are just a short-term storage solution. When the straw is driven over during harvesting, it can cause it to dry out unevenly. That's why virtually every field is tedded out beforehand in order to produce consistently good quality, uniform straw. The company operates five tedders for this purpose. They even have a belt merger in case they need to turn the rows after a rain shower, for example. This processing plant has been in operation since 2002. It acts like a kind of pressure cooker and blends the straw into a mixture along with chicken and horse manure and lime. The seven chambers in the shed all have a ventilated floor. A biological process causes the mixture to heat up to around 80 degrees. It's then transferred to another chamber with additional moisture every three days. After 10 days, the substrate is ready. The Shure sells this as a product, primarily to mushroom producers. They have been continuously refining the process for the past few years. Interestingly, they also produce organic substrate. In this case, the mixture is prepared without horse manure and takes around 15 days to process. Organic straw represents around 20% of Fashur's overall straw harvest. Naturally, it has to be kept separately from conventional straw throughout each process. In addition to substrate production, a much larger proportion of the straw ends up being traded and passing through a hammer mill like this. Here the straw is chopped and cleaned to remove any dust. It's then sold as 20 mm long bedding material. Lengths of 65 and 85 mm can be used for compound feeds. That brings us to the end of what has been an action-packed day of filming, with plenty to see and lots of fascinating insights. If you'd like to see more of the Mashur team at work, we recommend taking a look at our film series called Agricultural Adventure Germany, Austria and Switzerland, which saw us visit the company previously back in 2019. 
The series is available in five languages and can also be streamed in 4K resolution at farmworld.tv.